On this channel, I usually try to explain songs that are really popular, but in this case, you guys have been requesting grandson song explanations for a little while now, and so I wanted to go ahead and oblige you guys and explain the song that is the most popular from his most recent album. That song is Apologize. Let me explain. Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Summy, the Pop Song Professor, and welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by explaining and sometimes roasting song lyrics on school days. And today we're talking about Apologize by Grandson. And I want to go ahead and begin by giving you guys a couple of tidbits about who Grandson is. Apparently Grandson is from Canada. It's the dude, I need to actually look that up. Jordan Edward Benjamin, that's his real name. And he's actually technically Canadian-American. In some small sense, don't we all sort of feel Canadian-American? I mean, those of us who are in Canada or America. I mean, if America were just a little bit less of a crazy place to live, and if Canada were just a little bit warmer, I would I would not be surprised if we just like kind of became one country, joined forces. But yeah, that'll never happen. But anyway, grandson believes that music should be political. And it's really interesting because not a lot of people come out there and just say it like that. A lot of it, music these days is more about like self-expression and encouragement for other people. But listen to what he says on his Spotify bio. This is about power. Who has power? Who doesn't? Do they use that power to speak for those without a voice of their own? How do we find the power in ourselves to be our best selves? Using the cathartic expression of rock and roll to find clarity and unity. I think that today's music should be a reflection of the effed up times we are living in. I think as artists, we have a responsibility now more than ever to weaponize music and art, to paint a painfully realistic picture of who, why, and what we are. And so he's talking about power through truth, through these realistic pictures of kind of how messed up things are. So that's the context of what Grandson usually does, but on Twitter, he explained that this song, Apologize, is actually a little bit unique and contrary to the way he usually thinks. He says, I wrote the song for all the grandkids, his fan base, as an anthem to tell the world we will not apologize for who we are. Keep moving forward. In some ways, it's funny. So much of my music up to this point has been about reclaiming power, but this Apologize feels like the first truly uplifting interpretation of that theme. So basically he's saying we're not just kind of complaining about how we don't have the power or talking about how we have to fight and move forward to be able to bring the power back to where it should be. He's saying, you know, like we have some power and we're going to kind of not apologize for who we are as a result of what we do have. And that's the basic idea of the song overall. We'll jump into the lyrics in a second, but I actually asked you guys what you thought the song was about on my YouTube community tab. Okay, so Rotiti says, him unapologetically living as an imperfect outlier of modern society, 21st century human soul. I would agree with that. Jack says he knows he's not perfect, he doesn't care, he's not gonna be sorry, he's gonna be himself. And I think at the same time, to add on to that, he's giving his fan base the permission to be themselves as well. Aminish says the verses represent how he does not like this modern way of living, like showing off on social media. Uh, whereas on the chorus, he says he's gonna change and won't apologize for being different and being imperfect. Shagsterman says what all the furries should do, am I right? Tao V Quash says, okay, so here's mine. Sorry. You know guys, we've got some really deep thinkers in this community. Tao, your contribution is as appreciated as it should be. Oh, we got another one. Colin says, he not sorry. Whoa. Back to the serious ones. Tomasi, he doesn't want to fit in society. He just wants to be himself and don't give a damn about anything. And finally, Disco Kid, you don't need to be perfect and if you aren't, don't be sorry about it. And generally, apart from a couple of those, I would say that we're basically in agreement. Be who you are. Don't let other people try to force you to be something else or to force you to apologize for who you are. Now, quick hypothetical, philosophical, almost couldn't say that word, question. If you've murdered somebody, should you be ashamed of who you are? Just a little brain teaser for you guys, just to put it out there, okay? I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't be. I think that there's a third option that's different than yes or no. It's a complicated question, uh, but we have to be able to differentiate between who we are and what we do. So let's go ahead and jump into the lyrics. Verse one, I lose a bit of myself with every selfie, lose sleep over wealth that's not healthy, the obsession with wealth. I was about to say the modern obsession, but it's a age old tale. And this, this talk about the selfie, it's social media bringing people down uh, because they're trying to make themselves look good and everybody else looks better. He's talking a lot about some of his personal struggles. He's talking about new religion, praying to the label itself, do not shelf me. And he kind of continues the struggle. He says, she says she loved me at dusk, but at dawn I pack up my things and I'm gone, and then into the chorus, and I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I don't care, I'm on the road. Never been a perfect soul, 
but I will not apologize. To be fair, if you are in a loving, committed relationship with somebody and you disappear the next day, that would probably be a decent thing to apologize for. Yeah, not asking you to apologize for who you are, but to me it makes sense to apologize for the things that you did, if they're bad. But I think the spirit of what he's saying is like, yeah, I'm gonna make mistakes, yeah, I'm afraid of commitment, and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be me whether I or anyone else likes it. And I did a lot of wrong, I can't make right, never been a perfect soul, but I will not apologize. I always feel conflicted about songs like this because if you did wrong things, you should apologize. But again, there's that difference between things you've done and who you are. I'm imperfect, I'm imperfect, no roadmap, getting lost on purpose, phone, no service, but it's clear out here, I'm living with nothing to fear out here. There are lessons you learn, bridges you burn, and for the cost of a dollar to earn. And they say they love me at dusk, but at dawn, I'm packing my things and I'm gone. He continues this search. He finds some peace and some clarity when he's alone, away from other people, trying to put these expectations on him. And by the very nature that he's repeating the lines from the first verse, we can see that he's committed to not changing. And that's the end of the unique lyrics in the song. The main idea he wants to get across here is he wants to give people that sense of empowerment. He wants us to be confident in who who we are, and I think to take it a step further, he wants his listeners to realize that they have something to offer the world as well. And that's about it. Guys, I just realized while I was scripting this video out that I actually had explained his song Blood Water over on my Patreon before. Over there we have the Still Needs Explaining podcast where patrons get to suggest songs and somebody, I don't remember who, suggested Blood slash slash water. So I, this is not the first grandson song I've explained. And that was actually really fun. If you wanna go ahead and join that community, it's a super cool place to be. Only five bucks a month and you get there's just so many perks, and we have a really cool community. It's a great place to be, but. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Links to Patreon in the description. Check out these videos right here, and I'll talk to you guys next time.